Hey everyone. Um, I just thought I would hop on here. I'm actually recording this on my uh, floss tube channel. And I'm in my PJs and just no t-shirt and my hair is a mess because I have just been crazy. Been going crazy. I thought that right after Christmas, which I all hope that you had a wonderful Christmas and Christmas Eve, that things would kind of calm down around here, and it did not. Yesterday, yesterday I was gone all day. I think I was home for a little bit yesterday morning. And I stopped and sat down for a little bit after having some breakfast and coffee and thought maybe I could get a little bit of stitching in. Yeah, I got three stitches in, and my husband was like, So, you ready to go? I'm all ready to go. Let's go. Yeah, so we were gone. We were just history. History from this house. And today was my first day to be home and I got some stitching done. And I actually got a page completed on the Hazel project. And I'm running full bore on that because I'm meeting my friend in like a week and a half. And I don't think I'll have it done. I'm pretty sure I won't have it done, but I'm just kind of feeling motivated to get more stitched on that. And then suddenly I just started not feeling very good. Like I was feeling sick to my stomach. And so I, um, I had some time to do this video. I actually did it once and it didn't turn out very well. So the house is quiet and I thought I'd jump on here and show you the rest of my stash. And as you can see, I'm starting with magazines. Now I said on my last video that I was going to show you my magazines in one and then the rest of my stash in another. But if I flip through all my magazines, because I'm kind of a magazine hoarder, um, and this is just this is just the beginning. I've just started with cross stitch magazines. I have a ton of decorating magazines around here and cooking magazines around here. And now I got my claws in cross stitching magazines. And these old ones were actually the first uh, subscription I had ever gotten when I first started. So that tells you how long I've been stitching. But anyhow, if I showed you everything in here, this video would probably last all day. So I'm just going to go through and show you which ones I have. Um, you know, I've, as I said, I got the cross stitch or cross country stitching. And like this is February of 93. This is really dating me. 93. You know, I already had a son by then. February of 95. Pregnant with my second son. February of 94. 93. This here is 89. This was actually before I started uh, cross stitching. But I had ordered two um, back issues. This one and then the one that has um, the rug weaver in it, which I already gave to somebody from my cross stitch group. Uh, February of 93, or sorry, 92, <clears throat> 94, I think this was 92. My cockatiel back then, she chewed on it. Um, yeah, these aren't magazines. Not yet for those. I already showed you this. this is my first issue of cross stitch gold. I'm waiting for my next one. Uh, just cross stitch. February 16, December 15, April 16, um, October 16. I love that one. Um, Fiber Artsy. She loves Halloween decorations and Halloween cross stitch as much as I do. It's amazing. Her and I have a lot in common when it comes to our cross stitch. Um, let's see. August of 16. This is 15 and 16. I, I just renewed um, my second year uh, subscription to this magazine. It's June of 16, December of 16. So that's the newest. Um, I'm supposed to get the next one in soon. I don't know why it's not here yet. Of course, this is the uh, um, 16, 2016 Christmas ornament. She is so cute. She's on um, perforated paper. And, oh, I 
think Fiber Artsy is actually stitching something in here that I have plans on stitching. I'm showing you patterns. I don't know. I love this magazine. I was so upset when, um, if you go to Wonderfully Hopeless um, page, or not page, sorry, um, channel, uh, she told us in her second to last video, I believe it is, that they are discontinuing this magazine. So I hurried up on Hirschner's, and this is where I got them all. Oh, oh sorry. Is it these? Yeah. It's these here. Across. I, I went from uh, one to another and didn't even say anything. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, I went on Hirschner's and I got all of these. And I got all of these cross stitch and needlework magazines in like four um, orders because I ordered, I think, three. And uh, I paid 99 cents for shipping. And when they came in, I loved them. I had never seen them before. And I just, I couldn't um, get over how amazing a lot of these uh, designs were in here and so I ordered I ordered like let's see three two three four five six three four five six and I left one in there seven yeah so my second order I believe was six and again I paid 99 cents and I paid shipping and after I got that in the mail, which was the most I'd spent out of all of these, that came to, I think like $11 and something with shipping. I can't remember because, you know, they were pretty heavy. But it was about a week and a half later, I got a uh, sale flyer in my email saying that everything you buy, no matter how much, um, how many items you get, uh, they are going to um, charge you only 30 cents for shipping. And I went back and I got, uh, I don't remember, I got some more. And then it was like, seriously, like the next morning I was um, having my coffee and I suddenly thought, why on earth didn't I buy the rest of them that were for 99 cents? So I got right back on. I was still able to use the same code. I'm moving my phone, sorry. Um, and I got the rest for 99 cents and 30 cents shipping. And so then when Wonderful Hopeless said that she that she had heard that they were going to discontinue, um, hi buddy, <laughs> I got back on to get even the ones that were like $5.99 and $4.99 or 95 and they were already sold out. So I think her word spread. So I can get them on eBay. You can get them on eBay, but you're going to pay more. I, I couldn't believe that some of these, they were charging like $9.99. Now for free shipping, but I paid $0.99 cents for some of these. So I think a lot of people are suddenly taking advantage of this, which is kind of a bummer. So as I find sales for these, you know, I'm willing with shipping to pay like, Mm, up to like seven bucks because they're discontinued but I'm not I'm I don't know I'd have to really want it just because I guess it just irritates me that somebody would take advantage of that and they just started uh, just announced that they're not doing this so um, so anyhow this is um, this is not in any order they're all over the place because I've been looking through them I mean I've had them for a little while but I'm picking out patterns um, so this is September 14, July of 14, March of 14, November 13, um, Fiber Artsy, I'm sure she's got this one. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of her videos, I'm all caught up, so I like have Halloween on the brain right now. September of 13, July of 13, May of 13, March of 13, November 12. I love that they've got um, Thanksgiving. You don't see that very often. September of 12. I love her. I'm stitching her September of 11. Um, holiday 15. I think they were going every other month. Um, I shouldn't flip through this because I'm showing you patterns, but... 
Uh, and then the last um, couple years, they went from every other month to um, seasonal. And then one for the holiday. So this is, um, I keep moving the camera because I'm not looking down. Ho uh, what am I talking about? Holiday of 15. Told you I'm not feeling very good. Uh, January of 13, that was really out of order. July of 12, I'm stitching that. That's gorgeous. Fourth of July. Winter of 15. We are very patriotic here at my house. January of 15. So I have some more over here. Um, so I am starting a sow. You want to look at my dog while I'm talking? <laughs> I am starting a sow. If you watch um, Heather Stitches and Cross My Stitch, they are to, uh, are the ones that started the sow that begins January 1st, and you can do it anytime you want. If you don't follow them, I'll explain you know what the sow is. And you stitch one thing, at least one thing from a magazine. Now, it can be any size. It can be small, medium, or large project. It could be something that takes you up to a year. But you need to start one a month. And I, I'm i pretty sure, if I remember right, it's it's one new one a month. So if you haven't finished it, then you just start another one. Um, you can do more than one. You can do as many as you want. And um, let's see, what other rules? Um, there's not very many rules. It's just used to start one a month and it's got to come from a magazine. In fact, one person is starting one that came in the pack with their magazine you know when you get it off the nude stand <laughs> sorry <laughs> you said nude the news stand um and then you get some of those freebies and little flyers one, uh, one person is starting with one of those and that's fine because it's published from the magazine so i've already picked out my first six so this one here is from November of 14. Oh, I'm showing the powder. Let me move this. Oh. And it is this one right here. I am uh, picking something small to do. Because this is going to be with my rotation uh, one week a month. Because, you know, I have my other things that I'm doing. This is spring of 15. And I'm doing the spring banner. And cross my stitch. She's a subscriber of mine. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And she's the one who told me about this sow. So I'm pretty excited about it. Summer of 15. And I'm doing summer banner. I don't join very many sows since I've been working so hard with this hazel project. I really feel like um, I keep showing the same thing you know when it's like um i do a sow that's once a month that you just pick something and you stitch it well it's always hazel so i don't join any sows that are like you know 100 starts in a year or 100 starts in a month i don't think i could even do that um i feel like i'm kind of sowless <laughs> really uh until i get that done fall of 15 and this is the autumn now I do have a, a winter banner and that will be in my last six months of this stitch along and of course the stitch along lasts for um I shouldn't show that that's my address uh it lasts for the whole year so those are my magazines now I'll show you a bunch of my other crafts I have or not crafts Oh, patterns. I know what I'm saying. Some of these you've already seen. Now, I will tell you now, while you're staring at my magazines, that I don't have a whole lot of stash. Uh, you know, there was a while that I quit stitching because of the um, arthritis in my hand, and I was having trouble seeing. And then we got, um, my husband made that stand for me, and I got that magnifying um, light stand and all that made a whole difference in the world so I'm building up my stash so here is poof love that 
the spider. These are actually beads. They're black beads. This one here, um, a lady at work, her husband did this. Now, by just looking at the picture, it's like, oh, you know, um, irises. Oh, they're cute. But when her husband finished stitching it, and he stitches everything on 14 count, she had it professionally framed, and they went and picked it up, and uh, he was dropping her off for work, and he was going to take the framed uh, stitch back to their place, and she said, no, you are going to come with me, and we're going to run it inside, because I want Fran to see this, and she brought it straight to my station and said, I wanted you to be the first one to see this um, since bringing it from the frame shop, and it was gorgeous I this picture does not do it justice just gorgeous so yeah I'm I'm stitching this and we're known quite well for our irises here in Oregon in fact in Woodburn we have one of the largest um, iris uh, iris farms around and people come from everywhere even over in Washington and California just to see these irises they're gorgeous so I am definitely stitching this and then I got this. I can't really show you inside because it's all patterns. But this came from, I think just Cro no, sorry, Craftways Corporation. It's the one uh, uh, Christmas book that I showed you in my last video. So it came with the book for free. And there are really, really, really cute little designs. So I want to do some of these, maybe make them ornaments. So now I'm going to show you my Leisure Arts. Some of these I got on eBay, Garden Party. Wow, somebody else has this. Fiber Artsy. <laughs> She's got this one. Oh, sorry, that was my room freshener. Up, the upstairs sewing room. Now my friend at work, her husband actually started this for her. She had asked him if he would stitch this for her. And she was going to give it to a friend. For some reason, she changed her mind. I don't know why she changed her mind. So, uh, he was he was really glad because he does not like to do quarter stitches because he only works on 14 count. And so, when he was done, he folded it up and she said, Do you mind if I just give it to Fran? Um, even if she doesn't want to finish this on 14 count, you know, I'd like her to have the design. Maybe she might like it. And I told her I have done one Leisure Arts. As a matter of fact, it was this one. And I showed you the finished design. And that was back when I did, um, open this over here since I showed you, when I only did 14 count. So I can finish it with quarter stitches. I don't like to. Now that I've started working on 18, or not 18, um, uh, the powder, <laughs> my pajamas, polka dots. Uh, now that I started working on at least 28 count, I look, the first thing I do is I look and see, is there quarter stitches? Yeah, okay, at least 28 count or more. But I, I can finish it. I've done it before. Good neighbors, I really love this one, but it's going to be a while before I stitch this because, you know, after you've done one porch and it takes so long, you need a break. Yesterday's garden. This is really cute. Little Women. I really like this one. Sunlight in Silhouette. That's beautiful. Okay. So I have a bunch of PDF files. And I printed the top because I'm going to get a binder and all my PDF. I'm going to print off just the uh, what the picture looks like and stick it in there. So, I think I told you already, but I don't think I showed you. Maybe I did. This is Treasure Hunt Bookshelf Heaven and Earth Design. Oh, I can't wait to stitch this one. This is my next full coverage when I'm done with paper. Now, this is a chart, but it's okay because it's a freebie. And Pam from Pam's Crafty Corner 
um, is doing this. In fact, I think she's about done. It's the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, Plum Street Samplers. So you go to the website and you can get that. This here is Cinderella from... Oh, sorry, I can't get it. I'm, I'm finger licking here. Uh, Nora Corbett. This is gorgeous. Some of these I just printed in black and white, but a couple I just had to do in color. Now this is Save the Stitches. So this is what Save the Stitches looks like if you have not been to the website. And it is a free pattern, blackworkjourney.co.uk. Um, it's a by Elizabeth Allman, which as you can see. This here is just the, um, the front for all the um, right side in front of me. Optional borders and corners. So when you're done with this, if you want to frame it with a border, a stitched border, there's all these choices and this, you know, it just continues. So when you go here, then you just keep going. Don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but I printed it and I saved the designs on my um, good reader and this here is the first well it's not the first page it's the front page of the first chart so, can't wait to do that but I really wanted to do that black lace sampler which I started can't wait to show you that this is not in color just black and white you know it's just for my records Victorian Christmas Eve um, oh, I did this I think it was Miss Oh So Crafty I think she did this one and I did show this to you on my iPad when I was filming on my computer and I'm pretty sure I showed you this because I showed you all the stuff I had kitted up I don't think Fiber Artsy is doing this one. She may have the design, but I haven't seen her stitch it. I don't think. I binge watched her. You'd think I'd know. Well, okay. So I don't know. It's probably in the other room. But I got a small little haul. Oh, I should show you one more. You already know. You've seen it. My Afghan. Um, this is the only picture I can show you because the individual ones are the charts. And then I do have one more magazine that I forgot all the way in my family room and it is my January start. But that's okay because I'm going to give you an update on my, um, my rotation and Hazel on Monday. I'm going to try on Monday. I really am hoping fingers crossed that I can do it on Monday uh, because that's my last day off since it is actually considered a holiday. So um, that will be the second and that will be my first day of my rotation starting over again and I will be doing the sow on that day. I will be starting it and so I'll show you what that is. It's a spring something. Um, and then I got a small haul, so I can go ahead and show you my small haul. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, my Christmas gift to myself, part one. Part two was renewing my subscription. And then part three is another larger um, pattern, but I'm trying to decide what one it is, and I will let you know. But I already have the first one. This is Santa's Village, and I found these on eBay. So this isn't two and three. This is totally, you know, further down the line if you were stitching them all together, which I am. But I ended up, for the price, these are like new. These are brand new. Even the, the plastic it's in is brand new. Great, great deal. She is getting high stars from me. Um, she stitched, or stitched it. She, oh, I need a nap. She, I, seriously, I've only slept three hours because I just wasn't feeling good. Um, 
she sent it right after Christmas and I got it just in a few days and it came from Montana so that was really really fast shipping but anyhow I saved a dollar on each one if you compare it to one two three stitch which is where I'm getting these and I end up saving a dollar on shipping because their shipping starts a little higher um, so yeah and even though they're not in order that's okay I still gonna need them and I'm keeping my eye on eBay some more and so far the other ones that I'm seeing are about the same price as one two three stitch and there's some things I need from that company so I'd rather just get it all at once and um, I think whatever pattern I get I'm probably gonna wait until after I get back to work and you know start making some money because we spent a lot of Christmas um, but yeah, uh, once I decide on what other cross stitch pattern I'm going to get, I'm pretty sure it's going to be one, two, three stitch, and then I'll probably throw one or two of these in here with it. So anyhow, um, I think that's it. So yeah, I think so. I just wanted to jump in here and just, you know, I told you I was going to show you my stash. Um, I'm just kind of trying to come up with things to show. Sorry I'm not showing my face. I'm serious. It's nothing to look at. Trust me. My hair's a mess. I mean, I seriously didn't even take a shower. I really... <laughs> you did not need to know that, I'm sure. But I really don't feel very good. Um, and I'm trying to rest up because... Uh, you look at that That's my girl. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, you know, I am going to be starting back to work, so... Yeah, hopefully it was just, you know, all the good food, and I'm not used to eating such heavy food, so I'm thinking that's it. And then we went out to eat last night, our Christmas gift to each other. My husband and I are both like, you know, we, um, we say what we want for Christmas, and we say this and this, or this or that, and then we get it. So, why don't we just do something with each other? And so I suggested dinner and a movie, and so that's what we did last night. We went grocery shopping, was gone all the time, came, or all the time, all day, came home, unloaded everything, and left again. And uh, we went and saw Rogue One. Really, really good movie. If you can see it, see it. Um, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, and I enjoyed it. So, um, I knew my husband really wanted to see it, so that's why we went and saw that one. He's really, usually really, really good about seeing what I want to see. So I wanted him to see something that he was really excited about. So we did that. And then I got this in my magazine subscription. And he got himself a little something. Um, he just said, I'm going to go get some. And he looked at me and said, you need to get more than that. So I said, I will. I'll just wait. And then he got upset at me. <laughs> Because he gets upset when I don't get something I want to get. Um, women are a little more practical, I guess. So, anyhow, since you're only looking at my carpet that needs to be vacuumed, and my dogs that stick their nose in the camera, and all my magazines, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm at 28 minutes already, and I thought this would only be about 15 minutes. So, I hope to see you Monday. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's. Uh, be safe. It's going to get really, really cold here in Oregon. Uh, this, uh, this, where, what day am I? It's Thursday. Um, this coming week, I hope everyone is warm where you are. And if not, stay warm. And just about at 30 minutes, should I round it off? <laughs> should I bore you? I don't think so. So I am out of here. I'm going to go stitch on Hazel some more. So you have something, some progress to see. And I think that's it. Yep. Have a wonderful New Year's. Talk to you later. Bye.